playoffs are here. And while no one really knows who's going to win it all this year, we all think we have an idea. And here are mine. What's going on YouTube? Flipping out SC coming at you with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the players' cards I'm looking at picking up going into this year's playoffs. Now, as a precursor, this video should be coming out the day the playoffs begin, but I'm creating it a few days prior. So with this knowledge in mind, if I'm a little bit off on who's in and who's out or who's playing who, please forgive me. This is what I'm working with. But without further ado, in my number five spot, we have Jeremy Swayman. Follow the puck and when Kako goes to his left, so does Swayman stretch to Connor. What a save by Swayman. Now, the Bruins are always a good playoff team. They're really well-rounded from top to bottom, and Swayman has been strong all year. In my opinion, he's still slightly under the radar due to the fact that he split time with the Allmark for most of the season. But his numbers are strong, and the playoffs could be a real coming out party for him if he has a few good performances. I think Jake Ottinger from 2022, and that's what I've envisioned for Jeremy Swayman. Now, Swayman's young guns are currently going for around $10 raw, or $100 in PSA 10 condition. In the number four spot, we have Jason Robertson. Here's Robertson, he scores! Robertson, a one-timer, score! Down low, Robertson, he scores! Now, I have to admit, the West is a bit of a crapshoot at the moment. The Vegas Golden Knights are in the last wildcard spot. The Avalanche are in third in the Central, and the Predators somehow found a way to turn their season around and make it into the top wildcard spot as well. But one thing's for certain, and that is that the Stars are healthy and looking as strong as they ever have heading into the playoffs. Now, I can't say that buying Jason Robertson doesn't come without a bit of a gamble. It's looking like the Stars may have to play the defending Stanley Cup champion Vegas Golden Knights in the first round, right after a few of their star players miraculously return from the IR just in time for playoffs. <laughs> if they beat them, they do then have to play either the Winnipeg Jets, who are also looking to have come out of their slump just in time for playoffs, or the Colorado Avalanche, who have the most likely candidate for the Hart Trophy, Nathan McKinnon, as well as the best defenseman in the league, Kale McCarr. Aside from those two, they have the most underrated player in the league as well, in Mika Ratman, but that's a topic for another time. So like I say, buying Robertson doesn't come without its gambles, but if the Stars can make it past the first two rounds, it will have to be in large part due to scoring from all players, and if there's one player in the Stars we've seen put the puck in the back of the net in the past, it's Jason Robertson. Also, his prices are currently in a great spot to be buying. You can currently find Jason Robertson's Young Gun for around $25 raw or $160 in PSA 10 condition. Coming in at number 3 is Artemi Panarin. And the Rangers have it! Panarin shoots! He scores! Goal at centers, Panarin shoots and scores! They're turning. Panarin scores! Trocek, now Panarin scores! Does anybody even know that Panarin finished 4th overall in the league for points this season and was only 2 goals away from hitting 50 at the time of filming this? I mean, what an amazing season for a player that hardly gets talked about. Maybe it's because he shaved off those lovely locks he used to have, and people just aren't a fan of the bald head, but Panarin needs his respect. I swear, people love this guy when he's on the Blue Jackets, but as soon as he went to a good franchise, everyone forgot about him. If we look back at his stats, it's actually insane. He's never missed more than 7 games in a season, and he hasn't had a single full season where he scored less than 74 points, and that includes his rookie season. This guy is an MVP type candidate who is leading the top team in the league in points, and his youngin is only anywhere from $25 to $40 raw and $150 in PSA 10 condition. To put that into perspective, his young gun PSA 10 does have a large population at 1,068, but Kucherov's has a population of just under half of that at 453, and sells for around $700 each. To me, that's just too big of a gap, and it doesn't add up. Next, we have a bonus pick. This is a player I had on my list, and then his team missed the playoffs. But I still think he's a good long-term investment, or a summer buy at the least, and that's Lucas Raymond. For Raymond, score! On it again. Score! What a knock it down, slot shot, score! Raymond, Raymond, score! Lucas Raymond has Raymond! Lucas Raymond has quietly taken a big leap this year, from notching 57 points in his rookie season to hitting a bit of a sophomore slump and only getting 45 points in his second season. He's had a huge bounce back and finished this year with 72 points. He's on a good, young, up and coming team and has nothing but promise for the future. So, like I say, I really believe he could be a good long term investment, but I know for sure I'll be picking up a few more of his cards during this offseason. Raymond's Young Guns currently sells for about $20 raw or $90 to $100 in PSA 10 condition. 
Now, before I get to my number one and two spot, if you've liked this video so far and it's brought you value, I would really appreciate if you could drop a like and potentially subscribe. I'm trying to post a video every Saturday from here on out and I hope to bring you even more value as the weeks pass. But now that I'm done with my shameless plug, in the top two spots, we've got a tie between Austin Matthews and Connor McTavid. What a move, shoots, scores! Slot, Matthews scores! He drives the net, McDavid back in! Puck in a crazy bounce, Matthews in front, and here he comes! McDavid shoots! Austin Matthews in, shoots, scores! Having trouble changing here. McDavid, beautiful move, in on I know, what a surprise, but bear with me. I really think this is the year we see one of these two finally make a big playoff push. For Matthew and the Leafs, they've added a few pieces that I think were really missing in the past in Max Domi and Tyler Bertuzzi. These two have the grit and the skill needed to help a team full of, well, soft superstars make it deep. They bring an edge that wears off on the rest of the players and can supply the energy needed to pull a team back into a series when they really need it. Not only do both of them have an edge to their game, but like I say, they have that scoring touch too. As much as I love a good Leafs 1967 joke, I would really like to see Matthews win a cup to make this season even more historic in his books. And as for McDavid, he's just by far the best player in the world. It really is only a matter of time before him and his team make a deep playoff run as well. And they've also added the best good luck charm for making the finals, while being simultaneously the biggest bad luck charm for losing those set finals in Corey Perry. But we'll see if Perry can finally break his finals curse and repeat as a cup champion before his career ends. Not that anyone really roots for that guy. But either way, these two players are always good buys no matter the time or place, but even more so now with the playoffs among us and both poised for a deep run. Matthew's Young Guns currently sells for about $650 raw or $1,750 in PSA 10 condition. McDavid's Young Guns sells for approximately $900 raw or $3,500 in PSA 10 condition. For both of these players, if you are looking to invest, I would suggest buying a graded copy of their Young Guns because by this point, if they're not graded, there's probably a reason for it. And there you have it. That's my list. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Are there any players you would add or take away from it? And for what reason? Either way, in this playoff season, I really hope you enjoy. I hope you buy a bunch of new cards or sell the ones you've been trying to for a while and keep growing in your collecting journey. But until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.